to this one it's a wonderful question slightly unconventional on profit and loss let's read this a merchant buys 80 articles each at rupees 40 and this cost price is 80 into 40 he sells n of them at a profit of n percent and the remaining at a profit of 100 minus n percent what is the minimum profit the merchant could have made on this trade is for n of those articles he makes n percent of 40 so the remaining that remaining he buys 80 articles the remaining 80 minus n articles he makes 100 minus n percent of 40. we need to see the minimum profit the merchant could have made on this trade or we need to find the minimum of this value so i'm going to expand this and then see where that takes us so n percent of 40 into n and 100 minus n percent of 40 into 80 minus n we need to find the minimum of this n percent into 40 into n plus 100 minus n percent into 40 into 80 minus n the percentage is just n by 100 the minimum is not going to change so we're going to find minimum of 40 times n square plus 100 minus n into 80 minus n into 40 and the 40 can be knocked off we're looking at minimum of n square in plus 100 minus n into 80 minus n this value let's expand this this gives us n square plus 100 into 80 which is 8000 plus n square minus 180n right. or we are looking for n 2n square minus 180n plus 8000 or n square minus 90n plus 4000 n square minus 90n plus 4000. I'll write this differently, We're writing it as n square minus 90n plus 2025 minus 2025. We want to find minimum of this expression. We have expanded it to this expression. Take a second and think about why we are doing this plus 2025 minus 2025. And it's a very, very, very vital point. This idea gets used in in quadratic equations, in inequalities, in functions, in coordinate geometry, all kinds of stuff. And so, why are we adding plus, adding and subtracting 2025? 2025 particularly is a perfect square. It is 45 square. That's a ring a bell. Think about this. Why are we doing this? Plus 2025 minus 2025. Because this, this, this has a minus 90n. We are trying to write this quadratic expression as a perfect square and then an adjusting term as a square and then an adjusting term a x plus a whole square is x square plus 2ax plus a square we have a minus 90x here or a can be construed and thought of as minus 45 and plugged in so 45 square is 2025 but this expression which is this really confusing looking expression now simplifies to n square minus 90n plus 2025 plus 1975 that's the adjusting balancing term and this is n minus 45 the whole square plus 1975 when will this be the minimum this is a square this is always positive or it is never negative it can go to zero it will be minimum when n is 45 this part will go to zero or the minimum profit one can make is 45 percent on 40 on 45 of the goods priced at 40 and 55 percent of 40 on the remaining 35 goods 45 percent of 40 is 18 18 into 45 55 percent of 40 40 is 22 22 into 35 or 810 plus 770 just 1580 this part is just plugging in 45 and then simplifying the entire idea behind this question is to go from that quadratic expression to this form any quadratic can be broken as square term plus or minus an adjusting term how we do that we need to totally stay on top of because that can drop up in any number of topics so keep that in mind